In this video, I'll show you how you can use the Catholic Diocese app to build an app for your diocese or organization in less than five minutes. There are a few things you'll need to do before customizing the app. You need to have Xcode installed on your Mac. You can get Xcode from the Mac App Store for free. You need to have a spreadsheet of all the locations in your diocese or organization, complete with latitude and longitude data. You can look up these values at itouchmap.com slash latlong.html. Just put in your address, and then it'll give you the latitude and longitude. Note that as of the making of this video, the spreadsheet will need to have already been imported into an SQLite database, but work is underway to make this process easier. Instructions for building the SQLite file will be available elsewhere. You need to know a few other bits of data, including the URL of an RSS feed of news for your organization, the URL of your organization's privacy policy, and a URL with more information about your organization's mobile app. You need to create an app icon and default app image. Pictured here, here's some, a default image, which is the size of the iPhone screen. Uh, and here's one icon with different size files. Uh, and you'll also need to determine the geographical center of your organization's map and how much you want the map to be zoomed in. This is something that requires a little bit of practice, so you might want to do this after you finish building the app. Let's get started. First, you'll need to go to the projects page at catholicdioceseapp.com. Then click the link for the Catholic Diocese app for iOS on GitHub. And then click the zip link to download an archive of the project. Once it's downloaded, I will copy this over into my project folder here and double click on the zip archive to expand it and you can rename it to the name of your app. In this case I'll be making an app for the Diocese of Boise. And then you can discard the zip file that you downloaded. So now that I've downloaded it and expanded it, I will replace the app icon images and default images with my own. So you can see that they're in the resources folder. The default images are here, and the icons are in the icons folder. So I'll grab my icons, oops, copy them all, and then go over to the apps resources folder and the icons folder, paste them, and then replace all of these with mine. And then I'll grab the default images that I've created. Uh, there are some notes on the image sizes and formats on the, the, boy, or the uh, Catholic Diocese app wiki page as well. So I'll go in here, resources, paste all these, and replace them with my own. Now that we've copied over that data, the only other thing to copy over is the, uh, the parish data. So this has all the locations and the addresses, phone numbers. I'm going to copy that. I, I made that file earlier and paste it into resources instead of this one. Now that I've done that, I can open up the app in Xcode. The next step is to change the name of the app to whatever you want. So click on it, and then click again, and now you can rename it. I'll name it Boise App. And then it will automatically rename some things. Let it do that to everything except for the uh, aboutview.zib file. Rename, it's renaming everything, and it's finished. Now the next step is to change just a few other little parts of the app to make sure that it goes to the right places. And those changes will be inside the resources folder and in the localizable.strings file. This has all the information about different things in your app and the strings that pop up. So we want to change the newsfeed URL. In this case, I'm going to change it to catholicnewslive.com slash rss.xml. Uh, the Diocese of Boise had no news feed that I could find, but they did have a privacy policy. So I will paste in their privacy policy. CatholicIdaho.org slash en slash pages slash legal privacy redirect dot ASPX. 
and then a mobile app URL. Usually you'll want to have a page on your website that describes the mobile app and has a link to it. Uh, for the Diocese of Boise, I'm just going to put their home page. Okay, now that we've changed those three things, uh, the only thing that we need to change still is inside of the classes folder and then the parishes folder, and it is in the parish map view controller dot m. Where is that? Here it is. And you'll want to change the initial map center and zoom level, which is down here. Uh, the initial map display location coordinates, you want to put this so that it centers the map on your diocese or organization's data. So I know for the Diocese of Boise, I looked this up earlier, and it is 44.6136 and negative 114.8025. And then we want to zoom in a little bit uh, further out since the Diocese of Boise is a pretty large uh, geographical area to 4.5. And these, these values you might want to play around with once you have the app launched. So I need to save that file. And next, it should be all set up so you can run it in the simulator. Notice that I have the iPhone simulator selected up here in the scheme. And it should be set under Edit Scheme to the Debug Build Configuration. These things you'll need to change later if you're going to submit the app to the App Store. But for now, for testing, we leave it at that. I'll run it. It's going to build the app. And once it's finished building, it'll put it into the iOS simulator on your computer. And it'll launch its own little iPhone. Here it is. And we'll allow it to use our current location. And here it is. Uh, the app is all configured for your diocese. For instance, if you click on a, click on a place, it'll take you to that uh, information. Uh, including mass times if you have that data available. If you don't, it just won't show them. And it'll show your news feed. In this case, it's getting news from the, the uh, Catholic News Live website. And it'll have prayers. And, and all these different parts can be configured more heavily, but this will just get you started. And then, of course, on the About page, Privacy Policy links to the Privacy Policy that you entered, and the More Information link goes to the More Information section that you uh, that you also customized. There will be more, more uh, tutorials coming for this later, but for now, it should be uh, ready for you to submit the app to the App Store or customize it a little bit more. And more information about the Catholic Diocese app can be found at www.catholicdioceseapp.com.